I trained like Batman for 30 days straight using Robert Pattinson's training routine and by the end I'd gained muscle, speed, endurance and both my parents were killed. Batman is a notoriously ripped and powerful superhero and when Robert Pattinson got cast to play the Cape Crusader, fans expected him to bulk up. Then when he jokingly said in an interview that he's refusing to work out for the role, Batman fans were outraged. But Pattinson admitted that he was actually training for the role and in a later interview with Healthy For Men, he revealed his training routine. I'm going to be breaking down Pattinson's training for the Batman and at the end of the video I'll be providing a full workout routine that you can use to train just like him. I use Pattinson's training to create the Becoming Batman workout plan where I train like Batman for 30 days straight and document all the results. In this video, I'm going to go over Pattinson's training routine, some problems that I found with the routine, the additions that I made to the program, the diet, and of course, the transformation and results that I saw at the end of the program. Starting with Pattinson's training routine, the workouts are split into three parts, and that's cardio, strength, and core. For cardio, Pattinson runs three to four times a week, anywhere from five to 10 kilometers, or three to six miles in freedom units. He also starts every workout with a five minute cardio routine to get blood flow into the muscles and work up a sweat before he starts his strength training. For strength training, Pattinson did a military style sandbag routine, and he doesn't go into much detail about it, but here's an example of a sandbag routine that you can use. I don't actually use this sandbag routine in my training. Instead, I wanted to create a program that focuses on building muscle and is also accessible to anyone with a set of dumbbells. So don't worry, if you don't have a sandbag, then you can still do this training. For core training, Pattinson uses an ab routine consisting of bicycle crunches, dumbbell side bends, double crunches and supermans. Batman's training routine, including supermans, just says it all really, but I think he probably just said this was in the program as a joke. There's a few things in this routine that I'm not a fan of, especially the amount of cardio. Now I'm not against including cardio in your training program whatsoever, but I do think that a five minute cardio warm up as well as three to four, five to 10K runs a week is certainly not optimal for muscle growth. Of course, this might not be exactly what Pattinson was trying to do in his training program. He probably just wanted to get into good shape and look good for the role, in which case it's a good routine. But if your goal is purely muscle gain, then doing this amount of cardio in your training isn't gonna help. Okay, so let's talk about the Becoming Batman routine. We start off every workout with a five minute warm up of jumping jacks, mountain climbers, jump squats, high knees, and burpees, doing one minute for each movement. Then we do an ab circuit of bicycle crunches, dumbbell side bends, double crunches, and supermans, doing three sets of 25 reps each. You don't need to do the cardio warm up and the ab routine at the same time or before the workout. You can do it at any time of the day that works for you. This is just what worked for me. Now, for the strength training, instead of using the sandbag routine, Routine, we do a workout split that has three upper body days a week, two leg days, and two rest days a week. The workout split is Monday upper body day, Tuesday leg day, Wednesday rest, Thursday chest and back day, Friday shoulders and arms, Saturday leg day again, and then Sunday rest. There's two versions of every workout, meaning that week one and week two will have different versions of the upper body day, chest and back day, leg day, shoulders and arms day. And this means that we have variability in our training so we can target different muscles and also lets us recover from different movements so we're less likely to get injured as well. Upper body day A includes dumbbell flat bench press, a chest supported dumbbell row, dumbbell seated overhead press, dips and dumbbell or cable lateral raises. Upper body day B is the exact same except we're swapping chest supported dumbbell rows with lat pull downs to get a different variation of a back movement involved. Leg day A includes seated hamstring curls, split squats, leg extensions, single leg horizontal leg press, and standing calf raises. Leg day B is the exact same except we're swapping split squats, which are a more quad focus movement, with RDLs for a more hamstring focus. Chest and back day A includes an inclined dumbbell press, kneeling single arm lat pull downs, high to low cable flies and a single arm dumbbell row. And then chest and back day B includes inclined dumbbell press, single arm dumbbell rows, cable wide neutral grip pull downs, pec deck flies or dips, and chest supported dumbbell rows. Finally, shoulder and arm day A includes a seated dumbbell anterior delt press, cable Y raises, preacher curls, inclined dumbbell curls, and long rope tricep push downs. If your gym doesn't have any long ropes, then loop two of the short ones together like this. Shoulder and arm day B includes a seated dumbbell anterior delt press, cable Y raises, hammer curls, 
face away cable curls and overhead tricep extensions. So we're adding different bicep curl and tricep variations here. As you can see, there's enough variability in the program to keep things interesting, all while still targeting the major muscle groups that we look for when building mass. So in order to fit in the three to four runs that Patson does every week, I just did three runs a week and I would do one of them after the upper body day on Monday, another after Thursday on the chest and back day, and then another on Friday after the shoulders and arms day, just so that I could avoid doing them after a leg day. The running was definitely the hardest part of the program for me since I hadn't run in about half a year before doing this. So it was also the thing that I saw a lot of improvement in throughout the program. So I was happy about that. So the most important part about any transformation is always going to be diet. In a recent interview, Pattinson says that his go-to meal is oatmeal with vanilla protein powder in it, which I'm definitely a big fan of. And he also says that he eats canned tuna with Tabasco sauce in it, which is a good source of protein, but just sounds rotten to me. So the diet that you use is going to depend on your own personal fitness goals whether that be maintaining weight losing weight or if you're trying to gain weight and we can determine the amount of calories that you need for these goals with a few steps step one is calculating the amount of calories you need just to maintain your weight if you're very active meaning you exercise five plus days a week which you will be if you're doing this program then the way to calculate your maintenance calories is by multiplying your weight in pounds by 18. if you're moderately active then multiply your body weight by 15 and if you don't do much at all then just multiply it by 12. For me at the start of the program I was 160 pounds so I calculated that I need 160 multiplied by 18 which is 2880 calories daily just to maintain my body weight. Step two is calculating how many calories you need for your goals. If your goal is to gain weight then you need to add 500 to 1000 calories on top of your weight maintenance calories. So I need 3380 to 3880 calories daily just to gain weight at a rate of about one to two pounds weekly. If I wanted to lose weight, then I would subtract the 5,000 to 1,000 calories from my weight maintenance goal. One thing to note is that your calorie intake shouldn't dip below 1,200 calories a day for women and 1,500 calories a day for men, because then you won't be getting the basic nutrients you need to stay healthy. My personal fitness goals for this program was to gain weight and build muscle, so I went for around 3,500 calories a day. Here's an example of what I would eat in a day to achieve that. For breakfast, I drink a thousand calorie milkshake and when I started drinking these it would take me like an hour to finish but now it takes me like five to ten minutes and I have them in the morning and then two or three hours later I'm absolutely starving again. If you want to try this shake out then here's the recipe that I use. For lunch and dinner I'll pretty much have the same thing and just make double of it. I'm not going to go through all the things that I have for lunch and dinner because me and my girlfriend love to cook so we have a lot of different things all the time but each meal will have a combination of some type of starch, some vegetables, meat and some sauces and spices to give it some flavor. So here's a list of the starches, the vegetables and the meats that we eat. You can mix and match these whatever way you like and put in whatever sauces and flavors that you like yourself. Now onto the transformation. This is what I looked like at the start of the program. I was 5 foot 10 and weighed 70 kilos or around 154 or 55 pounds and this is what I look like at the end of the program. I'm still 5 foot 10 sadly but I now weigh 73 kilos or around 161 pounds. I think this is a big improvement in 30 days. For myself, I really stuck to the program, I stuck to the diet, grinded it out, and one month isn't a lot of time to achieve a huge amount, but I'm really happy with the results and how things went. In terms of my strength and overall athletic ability, I've definitely gotten stronger, and the weights that I'm lifting for each exercise is gradually increasing, which is great to see. Above all else, my running and cardio fitness has come on significantly. I went from trying to run a 5K on day one and completely failing only get to like three kilometers and then on day 30 i was running 5k in like 20 minutes comfortably and i'm actually preparing for a 10k charity race in like two weeks time and i feel great for that too so there you have it guys that is the becoming batman training routine i hope you can appreciate the amount of work and effort that i put into this video so consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed in the next video i'll be training like chris evans captain america for 30 days straight so turn on your notifications if you want to see that when it comes out until next time.